Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can embed your own tabs that you create with Visual Studio on an SAP screen. And in this example we want to uh, use the transaction for plant maintenance notifications. And normally you have a notification number that you can choose and then you will have uh, lots of different areas. You have one area with tabs here, but as you can see, there are lots, there's lots of information, so you have to scroll down here to get the information from above. Maybe the screen is even smaller and you even have more information. So what we want to do is we want to add another um, area with tabs and you can choose from uh, the different data. And to achieve this, we go to our Visual Studio, create a new product and compile this as class library. Then you can use it with GUIXT and embed it in the screen. And here you have, uh, normally you have a Windows form that you can design and we use the tab control. So I have another form here that I prepared and you can search for a tab and then use the tab control. You can also use some other libraries, maybe they have some uh, extended features, but in this case we just have a very small form with the, those tabs. And what we have to do is we have to provide some methods that GUIXT can call to embed the form. This is mainly this embed routine and um, here we set some uh, icons also for the tabs and then we say we see embed this form and then we also save a reference to this tab so we can use it later because what we also have is a so-called event handler and that means that this method is called when the user clicks on the tab and select it, selects another tab. And in this case, we just send uh, the selected, selected tab, the index number, to GUIXT and start an update script. This is empty actually, but this uh, um, restarts the screen and uh, the script is uh, evaluated again. So we can see which index is selected and according to this, we can select different data groups. And if we look at the GUIXT script, we have a leaf here, that means the script is stopping. We uh, just remove this to see how it works. And so uh, we just check uh, if we are on the right screen, then we uh, create a container control and later we call the embed method of our class and with a reference to the, to the empty control container and the rest is really just displaying or hiding certain areas according to the selected index that the user selected so again, the selected index is set in this method here in, inside the class. Selected index sent to a GUIXT variable. And how does this look like? We activate it and what we can see is we have a new here with new tabs and only one uh, box is selected here and if we click on responsibilities then we have another uh, another box showing and we can switch between them and it's really still on the screen actually but it's just not visible so this is a really easy method to optimize the screen